Welcome back to Thumbprint Cellars. I'm Scott, the owner of Winemaker. Uh, downtown Healdsburg, beautiful location to be drinking beautiful wines. Today we're visiting uh, a 2003 Dry Creek Valley Cabernet Sauvignon from the Andelson Hilltop, or we call it the Top Block now, vineyard. Uh, so anyway, talking more about the wine. Again, it's, um, boy, it's just continuing to develop and continuing to open up. Um, this wine is different than uh, when I tried it last month. I think uh, it'll continue to develop. It's, it's hard to say this is the first vintage of Andelson uh, that I've made, but um, 10 years is, is easily uh, within realm. I'd say probably another five years from here before maybe we start to notice that there's a little bit of a bricking color to it, a little oxidation. And you know at that point the wine's starting to die. Um, so you wanna, uh, if you've got all of the, all 100 cases of it, you better start drinking it. Uh, hopefully you've got two or three bottles and um, what you're doing is you're tasting them every year, uh, maybe every six months if there's a good occasion. And, and you're trying it and you're realizing, wow, this is good, this is gonna be great in another year. And you have that last bottle and you're planning ahead and then at the end of its life, you've, you've captured that last bottle. So. Does that make sense? It, it's a little technical. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we go along in our continued conversation about library wines. Let's taste this Andelson. Mm. Wow. Really long finish, that's kind of why I'm waiting here. Tannins have really settled down. I'm, I'm kind of going backwards in order. But that's kind of how I'm feeling, how the wine is going through its stages. Um, it's very well balanced. Uh, the fruit and spice characters are, uh, are, are very nicely integrated at this point. You don't get, I'm getting shivers, wow. Um, you don't get any of that punchiness of a young wine. Um, it's really, uh, it goes through it in a very subtle way where you get the, a burst of, of, of fruit, but then instantly the, the, the spice picks up and then it kind of integrates back into the fruit. It's kind of like a wave going back and forth through the middle and then uh, the, the, the finish is just velvety soft and then goes on and on and it's still going on in, in, on my palate right now. Um, typical of this wine, I'm getting kind of a, uh, a cherry character uh, the cherry is um, kind of a dark, intense, woody kind of a cherry, but uh, nicely integrated with a lot of different other textures and spices and flavors. Um, well, I, I, I know that we do have uh, quite a bit of the Andelson available. Um, we've been holding back a lot of this in our personal library because we do a, uh, a soiree every year up at the Andelson Vineyard. Uh, unfortunately, this year's the 2013 is sold out. Um, we do have uh, a waiting list for the 2014. Why not? Now we do. Um, it's up at the top of the western ridge of Dry Creek Valley overlooking the valley. Uh, it's a gorgeous dinner that we uh, hire a gourmet caterer for and this year we'll be pairing it with at least six vintage vertical of the Andelson top block wines. Uh, if not, maybe doing a barrel tasting to start with. Uh, at the uh, at the winery, so we'll shuttle you up. So you park in our parking lot. We'll shuttle you up to the uh, event. Uh, we'll have um, appetizers passed with with maybe a uh, an arousal wine to start with, a white introductory wine, and then we'll jump right into the vineyard tour with the different Andelson uh, vintage wines. To me, this is this is Cabernet at its best. This, this is an amazing hilltop, terraced, steep, rugged vineyard that produces a very low yielding Cabernet grape. Uh, typically it's 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, the 2003 is 100% Cab. Um, the intensity of the grapes plays through the entire life uh, and history of this wine. It still shows a lot of that intensity. That, kind of the history, what, what I remember 
somewhere in the back of my mind from this 2003 vintage. So um, what would I pair with this? Wow, um, anything with a cherry reduction sauce would, would really emphasize that, that cherry character. Probably not a sweet sauce. You, you reduce a cherry maybe with a little bit of the wine um, over a period of time and it makes a little bit of a, of a syrup. Um, wow, some of the music that I would love to, to enjoy with this, you know, being a, um, a longtime Led Zeppelin fan, there are millions of songs pop into my head. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd probably go with uh, the classic I Can't Quit You Babe. This is um, one of those uh, vineyards that I'll be producing wine from uh, until, um, until they bury me up there. Uh, maybe a little away from the vineyard, but um, yeah, this is, uh, this is a special one for sure. Um, we'll continue our conversation about the library wines here at Thumbprint Cellars. I'm Scott Lindstrom-Dake, the owner and winemaker in beautiful downtown Healdsburg. Hope you can join us soon.